If you decide to create lessons that are more engaging, uh, it is good to come up with an event or a story that goes with the lesson. Let's say, for example, washing of hands. Very, very simple. You wash your hands, etc., and the like, and you go up, and it's done, right? Okay. An interesting thing is this. You wash your hands. You're almost done. You pull up your hands together, and then your cell phone rung. And then you pick up your cell phone rung. After you're talking to someone in the cell phone, you put it down, and then you went to the surgery. Okay? Can you imagine that? So meaning to say, the content is wash your hands, follow the steps, but in real life, there's possibly a cell phone that will ring. So the cell phone is an event, and the content is washing your hands. People understand better the washing your hands when there is a cell phone. So when you put this together, a story, a, an event, and a washing your hands steps, people tend to remember the content because they're laying together. And the technique I usually do is what you call embedding the content. Meaning to say you have a story, you insert the content over here. So for example, you'd say, okay, wash your hands, one, two, three, four, five, and then boom, here's a cell phone ring, what do you do? So meaning to say, they need to respect, they need to understand washing their hands, one, two, three, four, five, and never pick up the cell phone with whatever bacteria in their hands and go to surgery, right? So those are what you call embedding the content. You put them together side by side when you're creating a lesson page, a presentation, a webinar, and almost anything when you want to communicate with people. Put them together.